with another video and by that intro I'm pretty sure you can tell what special day it is. So the day that you're actually seeing this should be March 26th if I actually get my editing done. So my actual birthday was a few days ago on the 24th and your girl turned 23. Yeah. Woo. Now granted I'm never really excited about my birthday because I have this thing called the birthday curse every year on my birthday or around the time of my birthday so it affects my birthday and i think i'm gonna say birthday at least a thousand times in this video but it's my birthday so i deserve it something always goes catastrophically wrong so this year i was like you know what we're putting an end to the birthday curse i'm going to plan the biggest most extravagant birthday i have ever had in my entire life and to be honest guys even though it's been like a rolling joke amongst the years it kind of hurts my feelings that my birthdays are always well terrible so what did i do i booked a fabulous two night and three day stay in the city that never sleeps that's right new york city i <laughs> thought that I was ready to go and have my super birthday spectacular. I'm also going to be using a lot of jazz hands in this video. It's birthday appropriate, you know? But just like, everything was canceled. Literally everything. And because YouTube is demonetizing us for talking about it, I'm just gonna refer to that terrible, terrible, terrible thing happening in the world right now as camera lens. In my mind at the time, I'm thinking, okay, okay, this has to be the birthday curse. It has to be. But I was very determined in breaking that birthday curse this year. So I thought it would be a great idea to recreate all of the wondrous things. A lot of jazz hands, like I said. So what I would have done that first night of me actually arriving, I would have gotten settled in my very, very nice, lofty Airbnb. After settling in, I was supposed to take the train to the Art Tech House, a digital and immersive art museum. After my cultural immersive visit to the digital art museum i was going to head right across the street to this really nice restaurant uh, called morimoto and then finally after a, a just beautiful fancy dining experience <laughs> I would have headed back to my Airbnb to get ready for my actual birthday because I would have done all of this the day before and I would have called it a night. Are you still there? Did you hear me? Now, originally, I was just going to stay in my room and kind of jazz it up and rearrange my furniture so it can kind of seem like an Airbnb and be a little bit unfamiliar to me, but I figured that was a lot of work and I didn't want to do that. So I figured the next best thing is to just go to my sister's room and actually like take a nap or something. I'm never really in her room like that. I definitely don't sleep in there. It's kind of unfamiliar to me, so I figured it works. Art. What is it? Why do we pay so much money for it? Is it because we like what we see? Or is it because we like what we feel? On our first stop in New York City, we are currently at the, or what would have been the Digital Art Museum. I sat in this really fancy chair because I feel like it's appropriate with an art museum. Luckily, there already are some art pieces here, but um, I think to get the digital art immersive experience, we might have to amp it up a little bit. Okay, so this is actually the first artwork I want to show you today. This is a beautiful sculpture known as Knives and Whisk by an artist known as Farber and Ware. I think there are two gentlemen who really know their way around a point. That was bad, I'm gonna go now. They tried to add a very modern spin on a colorful, whimsical approach. So it's like LSD meets Black Mirror. I think that's the best way I can describe it. I don't have a gallery and haven't had one for about 30 years. My wife and I, bursting suns. That all is immaterial to me. I don't really want them to be like it. The art gallery was technically across the street from the sushi place I was supposed to be going to. So I just took a nice little step outside on my patio to enjoy this <laughs> meal prep. It's not a super nice, fancy $150 sushi dinner, but it's tofu and it's air fried and I made it a few days ago. So we're just gonna enjoy this as a part of our 
fancy sushi dinner. Um, all this recreating gives me something to do amongst all this coronavirus panic. I'm just sending a prayer out to everyone that's been affected. Hell, I've been affected by the coronavirus. I got laid off from my job. But making videos like this, you know, kind of takes kind of takes the worry out of what's going on and I know watching videos like this makes me feel better. I'm just gonna enjoy my my meal prep. Um, it's a little cold out here so I actually might go back inside but you get what I'm trying to do. Good morning guys, so it's currently the next day and I'm enjoying my faux birthday a lot. I slept in here and it was, it was pretty comfortable, you know, my sister is being a great sport about this. Now I should probably get out of my PJs and get into my daytime wear. I think I'm gonna relax here in my Airbnb just a little bit longer. <laughs> Okay, here I'm just pretending like I know what I'm supposed to be doing with makeup. As you can see, I don't know what I'm doing, but it was a nice shot. Hi. I am on my way to Brookie, guys. I just pulled up to the restaurant. <laughs> nice and neat for me I have a candle I have is this Prosecco oh my god <sighs> oh y'all that's crisp Ooh. is this sriracha eggs almond yogurt with papayas and bananas and granola and chia seeds my favorite breakfasts of all time y'all this place got it right like I heard this was fancy but I ain't know it was this damn fancy oh my god So I sat here for about 30 minutes and ate both of my breakfasts as well as scrolled on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm going to finish up my fancy brekkie and I'll meet you guys at the quote unquote library after I finish. So see you then. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? This is actually the time we would have been heading to the Metropolitan Library in New York City. So I'm not gonna lie, um, the only reason I was really going there was to get some bomb ass Instagram pictures because everyone said bomb ass Instagram pics. So these are all the books I own, literally right here, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm an audiobook kind of girl. I just can't, skin to paper is just not for me. So um, I was thinking what is the best way to create a library while still getting those super saucy Instagram pics. So I figured I could just like move all of these books off of my mini fridge and just, I don't know, take some pictures. Like I'm a little dressed up for it. I don't have on any makeup and my hair is really not done, but we're gonna see. I, I think we can still get a, a good Instagram worthy picture today. I hope you guys enjoy this time lapse of me listening to The Weeknd's new album. Okay, so after 30 minutes of trying to take an Instagram picture, I'm just going to call this one a fail because not only did I not read any books, I didn't touch any books, and I didn't get an Instagram worthy picture, which really, really sucks. We've recreated literally everything else. So I'm, I'm not gonna be too, too upset about this one even though we failed, but it is what it is. So there's that. All right, so that's it. That's all I got for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed my attempt to make a shitty situation just a little less shitty. Again, I am extremely grateful for another year around the sun. God blessing me with more time on this earth. I'm thankful for all my friends and family that reached out to me, especially if you reached out to me. I don't take that very lightly. Like you do not have to spend five seconds out of your day actually saying happy birthday AV, but for all of those who did it, I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot more than you know seriously thank you guys for sticking to the end of this video if you liked it make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed <laughs> what are you even doing and if you do end up subscribing make sure you hit that post notification bell and hit all notifications because sometimes youtube does not let you know when i post and i would hate for you to miss anything you can also follow me on my social medias they will be linked down below as well as <sighs> 
right here. Thanks again for watching. You guys stay tight and I'll catch you in another late night. Bye. Did you like and